Okay, so this is how your hair will come packaged when you get out the mail. Um, all your bundles will be wrapped up in these gold pretty boxes. On each box, you also have a business card from K Spab Hair. They'll have all her information, numbers, email, and all that stuff like that. Um, after that, all your bundles will be wrapped up in this really cute silk bag. Some of them are different colors. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys my bundles. These are how my bundles look. The texture that I have is a loose wave texture. The hair looks black on camera, but it's actually like a dark chocolate brown. And this is just the bundles I'm going to show you guys. They're a really good size, and they were all well put together. Um, Kay also sent me some organic cookie oil, conditioner, shampoo, and curl cream. I really, really, really love this stuff. It's really works really really good with the hair it smells so good as well again these products are from organics and they're really good for frizziness and things like that sort. so I'm so happy thank you so much Kate for that um lastly I'm going to show you guys my closure this is a silk bitch closure now the closure is not loose wave texture like the bundled hair it's actually a body wave texture but she um told me that they don't have a wavy texture in the silk bitch closure so you have to get this instead and it does blend pretty perfectly and again it's a silk based closure and lastly I'm going to just show you guys the products that I'm going to be using to bleach the hair and dye the hair so I have 240 developers um, clear raw pure white and this is the cream developer always use cream developer when you're bleaching hair because it's thick and it won't get make like a big mess I have some save and stage clear raw um, bleach powder packs these things will get your hair blonde in no time they're really easy to use you just pour a pack in there and it will get your hair blonde super quick and easy I also have some BW2 powder and this is also from Clairol and this stuff is really good for bleaching as well so I love to use this stuff and lastly is my door hair color and I got the color ginger and French cognac and these are the two colors I use usually with four bundles I always use two bottles two bottles is always enough for me if you want three you can do that but usually for four bundles in a closure two bottles of a door will do the trick for you okay so now I'm showing you guys how I mix my developer and my lightning powder so all you do is you take a big kind of container or bowl or whatever you have and like a brush that comes with it you can buy a little bleaching brush from the bee supply and all I do is I take my BW2 powder and the measuring cup that comes inside and you're going to fill that measuring cup up three times and place that in your bowl and then you're going to take one pack of lightning seven stage activator and this is it and then you're going to put that in there and then mix your 40 cream developer in there make sure when you pour your 40 um, developer in the bowl that you make sure the mixture is not super liquidy that it's kind of thick so that it doesn't get too messy when you're bleaching your hair make sure that every time you do three scoops so when you run out and you do three more scoops of BW2 powder that you put one pack of lightning seven stage in that mixture just so it can ensure that your hair bleaches fairly quickly and all your bundles are bleaching at the same pace and after that I'm just gonna now coat all of my bundles and my closure make sure you do front and back each time you coat and I recommend that you use the whole entire bucket of BW2 powder and all your packets and also both bottles of your um, activator and once you do that that usually means that your hair is pretty co much coated enough but make sure that you coat your hair completely and make sure that you check open the hair up with your fingers or your brush and double check and make sure that you have no dark hair kind of not bleached or has bleach on it so make sure all your hair has bleach on it all the strands of the hair have bleach on it just so it can ensure that your hair is bleached evenly so again make sure that when you're doing this that you go through and you double check and make sure all your hair has bleach on it and everything is evenly coated because you don't want your hair to be not evenly coated because that means that's going to be blotchy and weird you're going to have to keep bleaching and bleaching until it's even and you don't want that you want this to get easy easy and done in the first try so yeah make sure you double check and you do this and just yeah make sure you do it front and back and then you'll be good to go okay so once all my hair is coated properly and I feel like it's good to go I'm just gonna wrap the foil all around my bundles and place it on top and also on my closure and make sure that you let this sit for about 20 minutes or until it turns to like a nice blonde color. But make sure it doesn't go over about 20 minutes to 25 because it can over process your hair which can cause damage. So make sure that you don't forget about your bundles as they're processing. 
after this I'm going to shampoo my hair one time with my Kuki Oil Organic Shampoo and then I'm going to condition it and then I'm going to deep condition it for about an hour. Make sure when you're washing your hair and conditioning your hair that you don't run your fingers through it and you don't comb it because that can alter the curl pattern so you don't want to do that and then make sure that it's rinsed out all the way. After that, I'm going to take all my bundles and my closure and I'm going to put it all in this plastic bag and then I'm going to pour both bottles of my door hair color in this plastic bag. Make sure that all the hair is saturated. If you have to, you can kind of move the bag around and make sure all the hair has color on it. And then I left my hair in this plastic bag for about four hours but I highly recommend that you leave your hair in the hair color overnight just to get the best look and also it helps the color stick to your hair a lot better and then after you're done this is how your hair and bag should pretty much look and again I left mine on for four hours but I recommend you leave it in the bag overnight and then mix it out the next morning and let it air dry and then after I'm done this is the final look I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and make sure that you keep watching more more of my videos and again thank you guys so so much